and then I will get from that integral half minus 1 over 4 and plus 2 cos square plus 2 cos cube theta. Okay, one thing uh, here this one is not theta prime, this is cos cube theta. This one is cos 4 theta prime, but this one is cos cube theta. So when it is cos cube theta, then it means this will be a constant and this will become cos 5 by 20. Clear? Cos 5 by 20 and you can simplify that one. So 2 cos cube theta and 2 pi over 4. This will be the integral and finally you can write that this is equal to 3 pi by 2 sine square theta cos theta plus pi cos square theta. Not square but cube because this is this simplify with this and we have phi cos cube theta. Or I can reshuffle this thing and the reshuffling will give if I take phi by 2 is common from this then I will get this thing is 3 cos theta minus cos cube theta. So I am having uh, sine square theta and this yes. So cos cube theta this will be the result. Now sine square if you write 1 minus cos square. If you write this one 1 minus cos square theta then cos theta will multiply with 1 and then cos theta with the cos square so cos cube and then over here this one will also multiply cos cube right. So you will have 3 cos theta minus cos cube theta because pi by 2 you have taken is okay. So we have found the solution of cos cube gamma as well. Cos gamma we have found. Cos gamma we found. Cos cube gamma we found. So now we will have to put in this equation. When we will put in this equation, then we will move this equation here and we will calculate. So to do this thing, let me write that phi of x is equal, okay, phi of phi of x is equal to v over 4 pi. So now start from there, from that point. I am taking v is common and 4 pi is there. So this one becomes v over 4 pi. And then I write a over x minus a cube over x cube. And then I can write that 3 a over x, okay, so better I write a curly bracket here, 3a over x, 2 pi cos of theta. Now from where I got this one, <coughs> look here, this one is, I have written a over x, right? a over x is here, so a over x is there as well. Now I will have to calculate cos gamma. Cos gamma I have calculated that this is equal to 2 pi cos theta. Where is any other cos gamma? Not here but here. Clear? 
so here is cos gamma i as well now i will have to add up this term with this term so this is having 3a over x so i have written a over x here and then a over x here and then a cube over x cube from here and then i will write cos gamma with 15 by 2 as well so let me means it will be simplified if you put all the values one by one if you put all the values one by one you will get that simplification so 2 pi cos theta and then plus plus again one a cube over x is coming so a cube over x cube and minus 15 over 2 and 3 pi cos of theta plus 35 over 2 pi by 2 okay now from where this one is coming so pi by 2 here and now cos cube gamma will come in so 3 35 by 2 this and cos theta 3 minus cos square theta and this one is closed here so what I did actually I have taken this term I have taken this term I have taken uh, this term these three terms I took because cos cube gamma is involved and cos gamma is involved for cos cube gamma if I expand this one first if I expand this one first means with this one as well and then I do some two three steps simplification then this is the value of cos gamma in front of it I am having a over x and a cube over x so in front of cos gamma is a over x and a cube over x cube then I come to this one and here I am having again this one 3 pi cos theta so it is coming from this one is coming from uh, okay 3 pi and then 35 okay this one multiplies so it means it is this term it is this term so 1 it is this term 15 over 2 a cube over x cube and cos gamma for cos gamma I am writing 2 pi this one you can redo this thing you can redo this thing by just multiplying them big like you can write 3 cos theta 3 cos theta 3 cos theta and then cos cube theta cos the 3 cos theta and then cos cube theta multiply them all and you will get back this relation in which only these terms are utilized so this is not that difficult simplification only you will have to go three four steps okay <clears throat> so then i further simplify this one and i will get that phi of x is equal means you further simplify this one like here you multiply this 3 here so you will get 3 v over 4 and then a square over x square and 2 cos of theta plus a square over x square and then another common minus 2 cos theta plus minus 5 cos theta plus 35 over 4 cos theta 
minus 35 over 12 cos square theta and this one is closed and plus some other terms okay the things are not finishing here but there are some more terms in this series as well okay there are some more terms in this series but we are actually uh, reducing the number of terms and we want to give it a shape and that shape is that we have finally this one comes to a final you can say form that 3 of v over 4 and a square over x square cos theta minus 7 over 12 a square over x square and here 5 over 2 cos cube theta minus 3 over 2 cos theta plus some more terms and then you close this one okay. so when you further do some reshuffling like 2 cos theta so you this 2 cos theta here and there is no other cos theta because a square x is also multiplied you sum up them wherever you can do the summation and this is our actually final result now if I look to this result then you can see that the first term which is coming is cos theta and then it is cos cube theta and cos theta these are some well known functions and these functions are I can write that P1 in terms of cos theta is equal to cos theta and P2 is not here P3 is here of cos theta and this is equal to 5 by 3 means this one 5 by 2 actually 5 by 2 and cos cube theta minus 3 over 2 cos theta these we call the very famous legendary polynomials so here we got the solution we got the solution in the form of legendary polynomials you know about them legendary polynomials you know p1 p0 of x is equal to 1 your relation was having 1 as well and p1 of x is equal to x similarly you can go on p3 of x is 5 by 2 x cube minus 3 by 2 x 5 by 2 x cube minus 3 by 2 x and so on you know why we are writing x equal to cos theta if I want to write the legendary polynomials in terms of cos theta then it will be x equal to cos theta why I am writing you know 
you know about the, if I take a unit circle, okay, in a unit circle you know that R is equal to 1, this you call a unit circle. For a circle you know x equal to r cos theta and y equal r sin theta. Now for a unit circle x will become equal to cos theta and y will become equal to sin theta. What is meant by a unit circle? Actually, unit circle normalized wave function means its maximum value is 1, right? Its maximum value is 1. Whatever the length of R will be, you can reduce that thing to 1, normalize it. Unit R normalization. Normalization means this thing. Whatever your value is, the maximum you consider is 1. So the earlier values will come out like this. So you know about in quantum mechanics you have studied the normalized wave function. And you know normalized wave function. You take psi mod square on a length from minus infinity to plus infinity and this is equal to 1. This you are normalizing your wave function. Normalizing means that you are making your function to vary between 0 and 1. Here you are normalizing. So normal normalized